All right, Kings Warriors. This game was interesting for about the first half, and then the second half, the Kings decided that it was time to end the Warriors dynasty. Play Thompson dropped the goose egg in this game, and it's really, really sad and disheartening to see the Warriors go out this way. You know, the way they went out against the Lakers last year is admirable. They fought hard, they made it to the second round. A couple of plays this way or that way, and they're in the Western Conference Finals, so that that end to a dynasty you can understand but this game the blowout to a division rival on their home floor with your superstar player not playing up to what he used to be it's really really hard to watch now there was a time maybe five or six years ago where the nba fans would have loved every bit of this but i feel like a lot of nba fans actually feel bad for the warriors and it's a really weird thing to say because during the time when they were terrorizing the league, people couldn't wait for them to lose and experience any hardship possible. But now in this day and age, watching them go down and the way they're going down, it's it's really painful and hard to watch. It's like when you have a bully who's not really violent. He's just kind of annoying. He takes everybody's stuff and he talks down to everyone and he's kind of a nuisance all the time. And you just want to see something bad happen to him. And you just hope he gets his comeuppance at some point. And then somebody does come who's bigger and badder and gives him the beat down and beats him to within an inch of his life. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean like that. I just wanted him to be you know roughed up a little i didn't want it to happen like that i didn't want you to nearly kill the man i think that's what a lot of people feel when they watch the warriors it's like they wanted the dynasty to end they wanted it to stop being warriors all the time but this is a little bit too much and there's draymond green who doesn't have a favorable view in the public's eye anyway so i think anything that happens bad to him within this team people don't really feel bad about but as far as steph and clay go it's really not fun to see them go down in the way that they're going down so enough about the warriors let's talk about the kings the kings have sort of slid their way into the plan i think they lost like five of their last six games or something like that something weird they were way up at like the sixth or the fifth seed and they fell all the way out of the playoffs into the plan they are missing some key pieces on their roster uh, malik monk and then there's another one that escapes me at the moment i'm gonna have to put that up yeah they have a couple of key injuries and it's just at the right wrong time which seems to be the case with them they always seem to get the injury bug right at the wrong moment uh, i know fox was going through some things last year in the playoffs he won't say that and he won't use that as an excuse but yeah and they get the sometimes it's just the timing and the bad luck of everything they were looking like a top team in the west and things just sort of fell apart at the end so now they have a chance to redeem themselves against the pelicans who themselves are on a losing streak on their own home court if zion goes uh, I give the Pelicans a fighting chance. If he doesn't, I got the Kings making it into this thing. I mean, even if he's there, I still think the Kings have a completeness to them and the way they play that I don't necessarily see with the Pelicans. But again, I'd be happy to be pleasantly surprised. Only thing I want out of these playing games is competitive basketball. And this looks to be a good matchup. Hopefully we get double, triple overtime. Hopefully Zion's okay. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on this game. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one.